Okay, so the money. So good morning. And that is on this 251S right here. It's a late entry, and uh, we played out right here. So currently on the chat, uh, this is right here. Has it is now delivered right here. So that's a perfect swing trade. Has a swing trade right now. So I'm going to give the bread analysis right now. I'll be brief because I've been on meetings throughout the day. So yeah, I'm tired. So these um, are the markups right there on uh, the analysis that was shared right here. Okay. So I'm going to now give the breakdown analysis on the trade. Now, first and foremost, you always know that analysis starts from the higher time frame. So I'm currently at the time frame, and this is at uh, trading view. All right. So when you zoom out right here, uh, let me delete everything. Uh, or let me just oh, so it's deleted. Now when you look at um, this right here on the daily time frame, and we get to mark our structural highs and lows, uh, the external highs and lows, we are going to mark them out right here. We have this high. Though this right here is a range of markets, okay, we don't have a uh, overall trend. So we have this high, we have this low, and then we now see a bullish structural high, right? So that is this high printer right here. So that is like a kind of like a bullish structure. So we have this high, high, we have this high, low, then we finally have a breaker structure right here, um, giving us a new high. So in this case, we are thinking of a bullish structure. Now, uh, this change of character also occurred. So, now price is expected to trade lower and then go higher. So, what actually happened right here is that it's traded lower right here and it now gave us a failure swing right here. So, that right there is a failed high. All right, now in in um, other analysis, um, if you look at attention right here, you can see that uh, you have a clean structure also formed right here. So let me just reduce this stuff. I don't like seeing the chart looking too big. So reduce and reduce again. All right. So uh, pay attention to this on a daily time frame. There is also a clean structure that was formed right here. And the structure is this high, and then also we now have a we now have a low, right? And we finally have this new high right here. Okay. Now the expectation as a trader is uh, we should be expecting to trade the bullish structure, right? And normally we'll be looking at this area of demand, um, yeah, area of demand that we'll be wanting to buy from. It. In the sense that we're saying we have this um, structural break right, right, right here, right. So um, price got to that area of demand, and the demand did not play wrong for long. All right, it did not even give a strong reaction. So the violation occurred uh, right here. Okay, so the violation of demand uh, occurred right there, and we finally have what right here. We finally have a change of character test for us right here so we'll like better the change of character now another thing is that it traded lower again and the next thing it gave us was a structural break right here so we have a break and market structure okay and now it traded lower to the that I think if you we will have the weekly time frame and uh, the money time frame this is a fair value gap so it actually traded into a fair value gap now this right here gave us an in um, a real structure like a higher time frame structure of the bullish structure so this is uh, the higher low and then in daily time frame you had uh, a a confirmation right here and the confirmation is we have a hunt on sell stops or uh, sell side liquidity pool right there all right 
and uh, after the liquidity pool all right we have area of support right here uh, that is the sell side liquidity pool that was created for us right here okay and uh, this right here so you understand that on the lower time frame now if uh, we are getting to mark a structure right here based on the lower time frame you will be like you have this lower low lower high lower low lower high and lower low but to me on the other hand this is not a structure this is a range of market right here so this range of market printed liquidity pool so remember i always say that whenever there is a break out of a range of market out of a, an area of support and resistance it is not to be identified as a break of structure that is just price grabbing liquidity all right so you looking to execute a sell thinking you have a break of structure you will get violated and that is what happened right here now the reason is because the institution placed a sell for them to be able to take those stop losses remember i say stop loss means you're trying to sell at a loss so those sell orders that are resting right here the institutions are buying those orders all right so they bought the orders for it to deliver to where areas where we're having the opposite side of liquidity which is resting right here and that is the area of um, resistance right now where did the sell occurred the sell started from this sell candle for it to be able to trade lower and grab liquidity so we are now having a clean confirmation for us right here and uh, i'll be marking that as a checkmate to identify that we grab liquidity right here right and then this bearish order block that is at a discounted price level was violated uh giving us a change of character right here so we have that change of character right identifying that has a change of character and we're pulling it on the top all right so we have a change of character and then we now have a break of market structure right like a structural break uh for us right here right so now price traded into the bullish order block and you can look for potential buys right here probably if you run down to the lower time frame now we have the lower low right uh sorry we have the higher high we have the higher low and the expectation is to see a higher high right because of the external high external low expecting to see another external high now price traded higher and failed to give us an external high it gave us a failed high right here all right so we are now having a failed high so remember i'm not using our grading the range right here because this is a trading view so i'm just looking at the daily time frame analyzing from the daily time frame okay now now it gave us a failed high after it traded into what this area supply and um the price balancing uh was it called uh a favor gap okay so we have let me just mark the favor gap so it traded into the favor gap and also the cross module level right here because this is a kml a kml uh those in the mentorship that i taught kml they already know what kml is all about uh, is used for a trend reversal okay that's where we use kml so kml we have this high low liquidity grab and shift right here so um this right here is our kml okay so um i'm not trying to draw anything right here i'm just showing you guys kml because i know this pattern looks familiar so uh we now have our kml right there it happens to be that price trading into KML, which is in confluence with uh, where favorly gap, which is the case that price might have a reaction right here on the favorly gap. So since we are now having a failed high, remember when I talk about structure, those in mentorship also already knows. But I said that if price trade into an area of demand or supply, and it fails to break an external high to give you a another high then the demand at which you're trying to uh buy from could not hold it might not hold it might get violated and that's what we experienced right here but still it's still traded it is still inside this um other block and what it did right here is that it still went deeper it still went deeper to mitigate uh the other this um other block right here so 
um, so that means what it did was that it hunted this low right here it grabbed the stops resting below that low and still went deeper into this other other block so in this case it, it starts to trade higher now the expectation is what you're expecting to go higher but it refused to go higher again so that indicates that um, VIX 25.1S is now trying to go bearish all right so now on the daily time frame also we now get to see that a structure was formed right here so we have um, a high we have a low we have a high we have a low we have a high all right so um, this low retraced backwards to a bullish order block on the daily time frame uh, which is this cell candle and the responsibility of the cell candle was that it grabbed liquidity right what did they do it grabbed liquidity from an area of um, support they bought the orders and they pushed the price higher right so it gave us a trade break price quickly it traced backwards into it and also when it did trade backwards into it it's pretty liquidity so when price is to come there is to grab that liquidity also so we traded higher again and then it gave us a break of structure so we might now at this point be expecting that price might continue pretty high highs and higher lows and go for that high so um, we will now be looking at this other block here also to buy from an area of demand to buy from and what really happened price tapped and failed to go higher now I was on the four oh let me go down to the eight hours so let's run down to the eight hours so this is the refinement on the eight hours right here okay now the reason why this um, demand zone failed is because of what we have liquidity below it so if liquidity is below your point of interest below your other block that means um, the algorithm will be drilled to take that liquidity so that was why we see tap we trade higher we came back again so if you're on the lower time frame you will say that you have a structural break right here right and you're looking for a confirmation entry and you'll be choosing this right here all right so now let's go down to the four hour time frame and we look at that all right now um, the four hour time frame um, there is no imbalance right here to say that price um, balanced the market also so we tap like this is the confirmation entry right a short trial break after it tap on this demand zone price trade backwards trade higher came back again trade higher right now the expectation is um, if price is to trade higher from this area of demand it should break structure right and the social break you're expecting would be this one but what did it do instead what it did was to give a stop hunt all right so that means what is going to happen that means the area of demand you're looking at we not buy from the price will not buy from there because we had a stop hunt and not a break of structure so price came back to that again and then traded higher and what did it give you it gave you a felt high all right so you now have a felt high um giving to you right here so this gave me the confidence to analyze the market and save you looking for sales so we have the felt high and most traders we say you are having a shift in market structure now this felt high is only confirmed and also the shift in market structure the sms is only confirmed if you finally have to see a structural break and that's what we have right here okay uh we now have the change of character right and then after the change of character we have the violation of demand and uh that is now what we see has price taking this low and after taking that low what did it do again the next thing it did was to also give you liquidity and that is um area of support so that means there will be liquidity resting right there and that liquidity is to induce the retail trader to come into the market to start buying right in the case that they, they are having an error support without noticing what have actually happened right here all right so um okay so now price gave you a confirmation entry 
because other block is violated because most of us would like to buy from here thinking it would buy but since it did not break structure the demand will not hold all right now the violation of demand occurred then what is responsible for that violation of demand that means there is a supply that took over demand and that's what we have right here so that was where I had the entry so we can still go down to lower time frame and you still see it right there so if I have to choose the two hour time frame refinement this is where I'll refine because this is the area of uh, supply right there right and now we conduct a liquidity assessment which is inducement right here right and then uh, a draw to liquidity assessment is this now if retail traders are buying from the area of support they're having their stores right here so what would the institution do they will place the sell for them to go and word take that low all right for them to hunt the institution and then long-term analysis stuff like that uh where was the top profit target because i know it hits the profit target right here because you see the profit target is an area is a draw to liquidity which has a uh, area of support so that means there will be stops resting right there so price hit the take profit right there so if we are expecting the institution to buy we would have seen uh, a, 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 a confirmation entry like a structural shift and that will be it breaking this high but it has not done that yet so that means the institutions are not wanting to buy those stops right there for now okay so uh this right here price stopped area of supply and we start to sell now i always uh, by the last contents i shared on uh, my mentorship uh i think that was two, two weeks ago or last week uh it was based on confirmation entry i told them that even though i am an aggressive trader i always advise people to wait for confirmation entry all right my job i don't like staying on the chat or the i i always tell the chat but uh, when it comes to execution i don't want to miss a trade so i always put a limit i always trade a limit but i advise to always wait for a confirmation entry all right so why is the confirmation entry right here you have to wait for the lower time frame to realign with that of the higher time frame right and the realignment is to see a structural break all right and that's what we have right here so you can um have your confirmation entry right here but when you run down to lower time frames you can still see uh, some kind of confirmation entries so for example we go to the 15 minutes and this is our high this is our low right um, our major highs and lows right this major high this major low now this is a structural shift for price to be drawn to this high right for it to maintain a bullish structure so we now get to see it right here price you trace backwards to this other block it burns and gave you a um, break of structure now the reason why price respect this order block is for what reasons we had a what liquidity graph then this supply um printed liquidity so the supply is not valid so that was why on the demand have to validate this supply and we have liquidity that you need to take and that is uh buying the stops of retail traders so um trade higher give you is break of structure right so giving you a break of structure you'll be buying at this demand right here right so now me as an aggressive trader putting a limit uh, i'll be going through emotional damage all right so it's always advisable for you to wait for confirmation entries right so you bought again and you now see a break of structure now these are the reasons why uh you always fell at other block because we don't wait for confirmation entry uh so these are the reasons why uh other blocks are violated area supply and demand are violated because there are some uh other blocks other supply and demand that we violate that one in which you are trying to trade from so um give us the breaker structure and we have this other block right here this other block did not grab liquidity unlike this ones right here so that means they did not take any retail stops so price starts it trade higher did not give you any bullish structure but not yet confirmed till you see a structural break 
and what is that confirmation entry the confirmation entry is already right here when you see this one it is not a confirmation all right you're waiting for the other block to get violated and the other block you're waiting to get violated is this one right here and we now have the structural break right here okay so this now is now the off oh god that is now the offer so the offer i'm talking about is an order flow realignment okay so it has now realigned with the higher time frame okay so if we get to refine this also we can refine up to this point so i don't do refine my stuff most of the times so um also i noticed something right here that is the kml okay we have this cam oh this tiny little cam L right here so it's a confluence and the camera is there because it's by uh, this demand was violated so we have the cam L that means uh, this supply was res responsible for that violation so I love to choose this and this most traders will define to this most will find to this bullish order block right there bearish order block right here which is the bullish candle so we have the order flow realignment and that is the confirmation entry and it gave us area support which is a drought liquidity now we are conducting the liquidity assessment and uh, we have fake zone right here which is a retail uh, what is it called retail resistance so they have stops above there and our drought liquidity is the area support if you continue to go down to lower time frame uh, though i already see this bullish Kendo has the bearish order block, but I want to go down to lower time frame to see a refined something. Okay, so this is this right here. On my 10 minutes time frame, this is my area of supply. Okay, that is my area of supply. So we have inducements right here. Price took out the fake out occurred on the fake out zone. So hunt on retail stops and activating the institution orders which is at the order block and you can now have the perfect trade you just trade your stuff then yeah <clears throat> that's the breakdown analysis is very very important that you <clears throat> always have a confirmation entry so price trade lower and as you trading lower you can still have some other confirmation entries you know like here though this one has liquidity um we are not expecting we did not see any bullish structure so it can be trading lower um this is a perfect set um entry right here we have a stop hunt and we have other block not holding and we have a breaker structure because we, this is a major high major low lower high lower low and uh, liquidity assessment right is this um this violation of uh, the main zone was cause of this supply so price taps it and you trade lower giving you a structural break and uh, it continues to trade lower so I didn't see anything right here continue to trade lower and lower and lower and then we get to this point where it starts to trade bullish right so uh, this structure start from here something I will not take this is not my major highs and lows my major highs and lows is this high and this low so price shifted right here starts to trade higher now it did not go higher furthermore because what it did right here is only change of character all right it didn't go for this high so has this trading bullish we now have uh, it um, trade higher did not break structure so this bullish order block got violated right so price taps into their point uh, support right so it's the range market so uh, the institution pumped the price lower but did not get pump the price lower by uh, executing the sell and then price trade backwards now if you want to be bullish you would have seen this other block violated but price did not violate so this is an entry for you you cannot execute the sell right there and uh yeah price continues to sell so uh imagine um having three trades right 
um, you have the first one at the beginning second round and you keep on swinging this is the third round and uh you know your target uh has a swing trade that i am i target higher time frames all right so i could be targeting this liquidity pool right here as a take profit <clears throat> so oh god i'm tired all right so yeah i hope that this helps remember how we started the analysis from the higher time frame marking out the major highs and lows you know if you have a failed high or a failed low and then you're looking for a another block that is violated then that other block is violated you look for the opposing other block that were responsible uh, to violate that um that uh, other block that was supposed to continue the trend then you look for your entry so uh, take care of yourself guys and be safe and um, trade safely